What is going on YouTube world? You already know who it is. It is your boy, the Dryer Newt here. And today I have some of the best NVIDIA control panel settings for Warzone and for Modern Warfare multiplayer. Now I wanna start off by saying these are my personal settings that I use to achieve the frame rates that I get and personally the best that I found that works for my system. As you guys can see right on the screen here, I have a Ryzen 3800X with eight core processor clocked at 3.9 gigahertz. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM clocked at 3600 um, RAM speed. So that is my system and this is what I personally use. I wanna say that I am not an NVIDIA control panel guru and some of these settings may not work the best for your system as they do for mine. Now that we got that out of the way, let's hop right into it. So right now, you guys can see I have a BenQ Zowie uh, 2460 um, Diac monitor. It's a 240 hertz monitor. I love this thing. So right off the bat, you are going to want to have your refresh rate. You're going to see the scaling resolution. You want to come down to PC. You want to hit PC. The highest refresh rate. Yours might be 140 hertz, 120, 60. No, you want to have the highest refresh rate possible. So you're going to go the highest setting. Come down over here. Hit apply. Yes. Okay, now we're gonna go into manage 3D settings. Actually, no, we're not gonna go there. We're gonna to go to adjust image settings with preview. Right now, you're gonna to wanna to click this middle one, use the advanced 3D image settings, and this is what you're gonna to wanna to put. Hit this and then hit apply. After that, you want to go to manage 3D settings. Now I'm gonna go down from the top to bottom. You're gonna to want to put this on, okay? Sharpen image scaling 50% or 0.50. This is what I use and then ignore film grain 0.16 This is just going to make your image that much sharper and with these settings It's actually going to improve your FPS now you want to click GPU scaling and what this does is it scales um, Your GPU if you're playing at a 1080p Resolution say you want to drop your bar down to 90 in the settings and modern warfare this will actually res or put the resolution to 1080 or upscale the resolution to 1080, use less CPU load. I personally have GPU scaling on. You wanna click this option, hit okay. Ambient inclusion, turn this off. I have this off. I don't like blur effect or anything in the game. I like to turn it off in my control panel settings, use that. Anatropics filtering, application control, basically if you want to uh, turn on your anisotropic filtering in the game. This is basically application control. I have mine off. I don't mind jagged edges if it gives me that much importance. Plus, I really can't see it that much. All right, anti-aliasing. Have that off. I hate playing with anti-aliasing. You guys might want to play this on, but it has a performance hit. Gamma correction, I have on. Anti-aliasing mode, application controlled. You want to have this on in the game. Um, the transparency, have it off. CPU, uh, Akuda GPUs, you wanna use all your uh, GPUs, CUDA cores. I have a 2060, I'm gonna be upgrading to 3080, hopefully soon when it comes out. So we have that. Then DSR factors, have that off. Turn it off, you'll see a performance increase. Low latency mode, I personally have this on. Now if you have an older system, I recommend turning this off. I don't find any difference between off and on personally, so I just leave it on. That's just my personal preference. Max frame rate, I have off. So basically in a game, in, in the application, in the game, like Modern Warfare or Warzone, you want to cap your FPS to your monitor refresh rate. So I have mine capped at 245 instead of 244. This way, it helps out our recording. It makes the game a little bit more smoother. Do not turn this on, leave that off. Uh, Multi-frame sample is off. GPU rendering, you wanna select this open GL rendering for GPU. You wanna select this to your graphics card that you have. As you see, I see at our GeForce RTX 2060. Now, power management mode. A lot of people say, put this on optimal power or uh, adaptive optimal power pretty much has when your GPU is not being used it ramps down but when you're playing a game it's supposed to ramp up so 
I personally have this on prefer maximum performance. This way, my GPU is always being ramped up, ready to go at any second, even when I'm idling. And that allows me to get higher boost clocks. So sometimes your GPU doesn't boost all the way up to the clock that it should be at when you're playing a game. I have this on prefer maximum performance and it gives me a little bit more FPS. Um, preferred refresh rate, application control, a lot of games uh, have in their menus with what um, what refresh rate you want to play at. So we change that over in Modern Warfare. You want to set that to the highest refresh rate application controlled. So you want to have that. Jader Cache on, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. This gives me a little bit more performance because it saves the shaders and the caches all in the game. That's what I know from it. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section below. Um, texture filtering I have on, um, texture filtering negative bios I have uh, allow, texture filtering quality I have high performance, give me a little bit more FPS, um, texture filtering trailer optimization, not sure what that does, but I have it on and this is what I personally use. So if you guys can tell me like down in the comment section below what it does, or if there is a better optimization for my system, let me know because this is what I'm personally using right now. And a lot of people are asking me how am I achieving these frame rates with my system. This is the NVIDIA control panel settings that I'm doing. Um, threaded optimization, I have on auto, triple buffering off, vertical sync off. I do not play with vertical sync because I don't like how it adds latency to, between uh, different games. So I have that off, I'm a competitive, FPS player, I really like having really snappy, low latency movements, so that's why I have it off. Virtual reality pre-rendered frames have set to one. Virtual reality variable rate set to off. And then there's another setting in here, um, DSR factors. So yours is probably gonna be checked to one, okay? 1.20. You want to have this off. So what this does is it upscales your resolution. You do not want that. You want to be playing at your native monitor resolution. I have a 1080p monitor. So if I want to go in 4K, I could upscale it to 4K if I wanted to. I don't want to though. So in order to turn this off, you just hit, hit that. Okay, now it's off. And that is pretty much all my NVIDIA uh, control panel settings. I'm going to hit apply. Make sure you hit apply and then boom you're good to go. Um, all these other settings you guys can go through. I'll quickly go through. We already went through that. Um, these are the control, the uh, desktop color settings. I personally have it uh, customized to my bin queue. Um, and that is pretty much it. Let me know if you guys want to see, um, oh yeah, just desktop uh, size and position, scaling on GPU, refresh rate, all that. So let me know if you guys want to see my BenQ monitor settings. Um, I will leave a link down in the description or I'll put it in the description, my monitor settings, if you guys are interested in that, if you have BenQ monitors. As always guys, stay blessed and stay humble. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in another Modern Warfare slash Warzone video. Peace.